Tom Gushtag here with another Blaster Review. This time I'm going to be taking a look at the Dollar General exclusive Busby Gem 2-pack. Now, it's just called the 2-pack, but it is one of the only ways to get these Air Warriors targets. And, yeah, I'll admit, that's why I bought it. I bought it for the little targets. I actually bought two of them, one to remain in the package, because it is it is a limited release. You know, Dollar General is the only place to get it. I don't know how long they're going to produce it for, so I wanted one to put up in the display. Cause, and then I bought a second one because I absolutely want these targets. I mean, I am kind of the Busby guy. And I wanted to have the targets. It comes with the two blasters, eight of the long distance darts of the blue foam yellow tip variety that is common for the Air Warriors branding. That's Busby's direct branding, not Adventure Force. And three of the little half can targets, which are basically Busby reimagining the X-Shot targets that have been out for a few years now. Now one thing I will comment immediately on is I hope that they make these little can targets available with more blasters or how about a dart refill pack that includes some of these? That'd be a good idea I think for Busby to do. Or how about a dart drum target pack? So I want that I want the 30 round drum available separately as well. Now that's just personal personal wishes. I'd love the targets to be available separately. I'd love the drum to be available. And if you had to get like a dart target or drum target set up together, that'd be awesome too. Now, back on to the gems themselves. Of course, you get two of them in the package along with the, the three targets and the eight long distance darts. But, of course, the focal point of buying a blaster pack is the blaster itself. So you get two of them for your $10. And it is a three-shot spring-powered rear prime pocket size pistol now that doesn't that doesn't mean that it has to stand up to the performance of main primary size blasters but of course if you get a nice little pistol you can throw in your pocket and it still has a, a nice punch to it that's a good thing too it is very easy to prime the gem version and this has been reshelled a few times in the adventure force line in particular you have both the dual force and now the dual shot those are re-shells of what is the old tried and true gem but I don't believe I've made a video on the gem so this two pack is a nice way to get that in but it is a t-pull very comfortable even for you know full-size adult hands the grip itself is small but I'm not going to complain about a small grip on a small pistol that's meant to be able to be stuffed in a pocket because that is the idea behind the gem compact firepower now, it does not use a smart AR system to go through its three barrels like Nerf does. That is a Nerf trademark. This uses a rotating plunger tube, and there is positives and negatives to both systems. It's not a clear cut, this is better. It's just not. The drawback to a non-smart AR system is that if I load a dart in the top barrel, I may be firing, I may not, I don't know. Well, I wasn't. I really wasn't. Now I was. That's the drawback. That means it had been the last one fired and had the plunger tube had to cycle all the way back around. The positive to this is that because of the way a smart AR works, it has to redirect air in a sequence. It has little, basically, check valves, kind of, that the darts depress through the uh, AR system. And if the dart's present, it opens its airway and it stops the other airways from being open. At the time, you know, if it was fully loaded, all airways are open but in a sequence. And we go first, second, third. On a smart AR system, first one's the most powerful, second one loses a little bit of power, third one's the weakest. This system, there's the plunger tube itself, it's actually mechanically rotating to line up with one of the barrels. Meaning, that same power is available in each barrel. And commenting on that, this thing actually averaged for me on my chronograph over an average of 25 shots. It averaged 68.8 feet per second with a range of darts, including the Busby Long Distance darts, other brands Waffle Tips, Nerf Elites, and Busby Precise Pros. Eliminate the Precise Pros from the mix and it does drop it down to about 66 
feet per second because the Busby Precise Pros were on average getting about 5 to 10 feet per second higher. They were actually averaging in the mid 70s, which does raise your average. But without them, still getting about 66 and a half feet per second out of a very little pistol. Keep that in mind. Just seen some reviews on the uh, full sized blasters from Nerf's new Dungeons and Dragons, and they weren't getting this performance at a full size blasters. Oh, and keep in mind, not even taking into account the darts and targets, this was five bucks. Taking into account the darts and targets, these things may make up three or four dollars out of the ten dollar double pack price. Because I'd say these, these would probably sell for a dollar or two. And darts, you know, they're darts. You get eight of them, that's not even a dollar's worth. But if you said the targets are worth two dollars, that means you're charging eight dollars for the uh, two blasters and darts, which would be four bucks a piece. So if you go based off of that, this thing is about the exact same price as a Jolt. And it has a little bit better performance. And has three shots instead of one. So it's very easy to recommend this. I mean, it's, it's ultra easy. Oh, and the icing on the cake for us modders out there, because of the system this uses, it's the only limitation is the plunger tube's draw length, you know, and that, for those out there not familiar with that, that is the length that you actually pull back and the plunger head, or the piston in the cylinder, moves back. That gives you your, the diameter of the cylinder, which we call a plunger tube, combined with the length of draw, that calculation gives you your total air volume. Total air volume plus the power you put behind it in the spring rate gives you, not, ca not counting inefficiency, that gives you your total available power. Now, of course, this does have higher efficiency than a smart AR system. So again, what I'm getting to is, for us modders, this is a fantastic little pistol to tinker with on the cheap and get good power. Brass up the barrels, give it a nice snazzy paint job along with the spring upgrade. The air restrictors removed because even if they're not even if they're not smart ARs, it does have air restrictors that reduce the performance to make it safe for all ages. This little pistol, along with its bigger brother, the Busby Wizard, these are fantastic for modding. I haven't done a whole lot of them, and at least in showcase it. I got a couple that I modded for my own personal use. But I absolutely adore the little gem. And it's Adventure Force Cousin, which I'll be getting to in the next video. Easy to, easy to, absolutely to recommend this. It's a $10 kit, two blasters, eight darts, and the targets, which I wish I could get separately. I mean, I'm saying, I'm going to set up a whole entire little target range in my workshop here that'll get, sh that'll get shared in the video, but I want more of these, I want more of the Air Warriors targets. I mean, I, no lie, it's my favorite brand. I don't, I don't shy away from that. But they've done a good job with this. And for you painters out there even, I'm going to keep going on this. This little panel here is a separate plastic piece. So easy to remove. Paint it up how you want. You can paint the, the body one color, the panel another color. Leave it, leave it that color if you like. Swap them out. Some of them have the panel. Some do not. This one that came with it is the other... They're actually two different shell types. Same internals. But these little things have been around for a long time now. And they've never they've never been a bad little blaster. And kit prices like this, we can get two for ten bucks with some fun little accessories. Easy to recommend. So I go check out your local Dollar General. It is a in-store exclusive at the current time. So the two pack of gems with the targets for ten bucks. Absolutely. It's gonna get it's gonna get my thumbs up. And I'm on your shake saying hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.